Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a video testing out and doing kind of like an autumn type look with the Revolution Reloaded Iconic Division palette. This is the one that is like an Anastasia Beverly Hills subculture dupe. So this is what we're going to be using today. I'm very excited to try out these colours. I actually even like the look of this mustard yellow, but I'm thinking we're going to go for more of a green look today. Um, so yeah, I guess if this look goes how I'm wanting it to, you could kind of use this kind of look as a Halloween serpenty type thing, I guess. I don't know. But yeah, if you are new here, thank you for joining me on my channel. Don't forget to hit subscribe down below if you enjoy my videos. I do makeup pretty much all the time. I'm a little bit obsessed and occasionally I do fashion and other bits. Um, so if you're interested, hit subscribe down below. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you very much for your support. I'm very glad you have decided to come back to my channel. Okay, let's first, I need to prime my eyelids. So I'm using the Urban Decay Primer Potion. I need a mirror. That's not just the one that's behind the camera so I can see the viewfinder. I'm getting a camera for my birthday in like a month's time. Oh, I don't know which one I'm getting yet. Because I... There's two that I like the look of and I pretty much said I'm happy with either of them. One is better than the other, but I've said I'm happy with either of them. Um, so I need to actually write down the names of them. So my dad can actually buy one of them and not get the wrong camera accidentally. So I'm going to use, if I open it, because I've now kind of um, this colour just to quickly set what's on my eyes. Okay, so I'm taking this kind of more compact, um, like round headed fluffy brush. It's like a little bit denser than like what I use to kind of blend or just put that initial colour on. And I'm first going to take this, well, I should probably call it this, it makes more sense. This middle bottom colour, which is kind of like a, it's not like a khaki green, but it's like between like a khaki and a foresty type green. And I'm gonna kind of place this in the crease, I'm kind of dotting it because I don't want it to kind of like spray out everywhere. Not spray out, but you know what I mean. Okay, I don't know if it's there's like a bit of kickback in the pan. Maybe, okay, that's better. If I haven't like tapped off the excess, it works a lot better. If it goes too low, that doesn't matter because I plan on doing a cut crease. I'd say so far the pigment is all right. I wouldn't say it's amazing, but it's not bad either. I should probably zoom you in, I'm just being honest. I'm done, don't just like, ignore me. Okay, I need to like now change the position a little bit like that. There we go. Okay, so I think the, I mean the pigment's coming up a lot better on camera by the looks of it. Like the camera seems to be really picking it up. So that's good. I'm trying to get the shape of them exactly the same. This one's gone slightly too far up. So I'm just gonna kind of do this. That works. Just because I find on my eye shape, a more rounded eye look works best. So on, it's a lot like a less dense brush, but again still like round headed. I'm going to take the top middle colour, this one, which is definitely more of a khaki green. And I'm going to blend out this colour with that. Even though honestly it's blended out on its own fairly well. I'm going to kind of go in circular motions just over the edge of it. Okay, with the same brush as in before, I'm going to go back in with that first colour and try and really pack that in the crease just to darken it up as much as possible. Okay, with like a smaller kind of packing brush, I'm going to take this colour here, which is a very dark forest green. I'm going to take a little bit and again I'm going to run that through the crease to darken it up. 
I'm just going in like one tap of the palette at a time. I don't want it to be like super dark and I don't want to have like a really harsh line either. Okay, so I'm going to take a fluffy brush and blend over the edges of everything. Um, just because I feel like it needs it. And also I'm going to take this colour slightly further up because it's higher up on the side if you can see. So I just need to kind of finesse that upwards a bit. So I'm going to take my Kat Von D Locket Concealer and put a bit on my hand. And then I need... Don't mind me. Um, a little concealer brush and I'm going to load that on and I'm going to cut the crease. I'm not going to do half I'm going to go all the way across. Honestly, I'm not going to lie, my cut creases never look amazing and it's because this brush is not thin enough. I, I really want like a really pointy brush um, so I can kind of draw out the line and then fill it in with just this concealer brush. Um, so if you have any recommendations of like a liner brush like that let me know. One that's kind of like, hang on, a brush that's like this shape, but obviously not silicone like this, I don't think that will work. I haven't actually tried it, but maybe one day I will. Um, let me know if you have any recommendations for a brush like that, um, because I could do with one. Thankfully, with what I have in store for, day, for today, um, I don't need it to be a really perfect line. I just aesthetically would prefer that. Oh my god, I have two dodgy eyes. Can you see that that one goes so much higher up? And I did the same thing when you look up. My eyes are uneven. Oh, that's annoying. Oh well, whatever. I'm kind of like, whatever. If, if your eyes are slightly different shapes or slightly uneven, like, just deal with it. Like, I'm not saying that to be like mean, like, not like, oh, just deal with it. I mean, like, so what? It just makes you a bit different. Nothing wrong with that, in my opinion. Um, even if, when you're doing a cut crease, they look different, so what? It doesn't matter. Makeup is just fun. Okay, so I'm not going to set that. But I'm going to take eh, my finger. And go into this green here. Now the only problem is I have very long nails and yes these are my natural nails so um, this hand has my shortest nails I guess. Um, not by choice. So I kind of wish this palette had a mirror but with only being four pounds I understand why it doesn't. Um, I'm just gonna pack this all over the lid. I'm sorry if I'm down here and not in shot. I keep forgetting to be mindful of where the camera is. I'm very sorry. For a second, I couldn't remember if I'd actually started recording or not. Like, I couldn't remember pressing the record button. Okay, well. <laughs> it's worked how I wanted it to, at least, but the pan, it's now gone all smushed. Inside, if you can tell, but it's not a color that I would necessarily use loads anyway, so that's all right, I guess. I don't know why, but my eyelid on this side looks really gross, and I mean, it's like the way the skin is like folding over. I don't know if you can tell the difference, but like it looks really weird. But oh well, um, the look is all right anyway. Okay, so I'm gonna do the bottom lash line so. I can just get me space organised. I'm going to take this colour and run it all along the bottom lash line. I'm just going to take this smaller brush which I've wiped off the excess of the darker colour on. Okay, so then I'm going to use the Too Faced Glitter Pop Peel Off Eyeliner. Um, my eyes look a little strange right now. This is in the shade Ghost Glitter and it's got like... It looks purple in here, but honestly when it's on it looks green. Like it goes from purpley blue to green. Um, I was meant to get the silver one and I got this one accidentally. I'm not going to lie to you, but oh well. I do have to say these shadows are the teeniest bit patchy. So I'm just going to try and sort this eye out because now this eye goes up further than this eye. I need to figure that out. Oh. 
But yeah, the shadows are a tiny bit patchy. Um, and it's not my base because I use my, this base every day. And it's not the brushes because I use these brushes every day. So, yeah, I'm going to line the Halo Eye with this. Oh god, this is going to be difficult. Because I have not got the steadiest of hands. Yeah, this definitely is more green on. And I'm almost going to get this one. This is pretty, but I haven't used it yet. I bought this, like, literally months ago. And I used it once to test out how good it is at peeling off. It's actually really good. Um, but yeah, I haven't used it since, because I haven't had a need for green glitter, honestly. But today, that changes. This size turned out the best in this night, but that's fine. I'm not going anywhere, I'm just baking cookies after this, so... You know. I actually do really like this glitter, I think this looks really cool. You can see when like, I look down, but when I look up, it's like... Not there as much. Kind of like... Hidden. I'm just gonna look how pretty that is. And I don't like green all that much. <laughs> I know you're thinking, why are you in a green eye then? I had this idea um, because of this glitter, but yeah, look how pretty this eye is the best eye. Let's be real, let's just like, focus on this one. It looks really pretty. So, you, can you see why it's patchy on here? Like, I don't know. I think it looks more patchy on camera, at least on my viewfinder. In real life, it doesn't look like that. It looks like it's just blended out really seamlessly, actually. Um, but I have noticed my camera seems to make things look patchy than it doesn't in real life. Like, yeah. I'm gonna zoom out now. Um, oh, that's the wrong way. But I am gonna show you something. Um, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it. I keep, there we go. This thing here, right here, this black stand. This is constantly in the way of me getting to my brushes, which are down there. Right there, you can see a couple of them. And I have to like awkwardly Squish my arm past. It's very annoying. Um, but my brother has oh, very kindly let me use it um, while he kind of record. He usually does like gaming videos. Um, or at least he used to. He still does. But obviously now he's back here. He can't record even if he does do videos. I'm not sure. Um, I'm going to sound like a really bad sister. But I don't watch his videos. But that's only because it's not like games that I enjoy you know I sound like but he doesn't watch mine so it's fine um yeah so he's let me use his microphone for when I do sims so finally hope and it's a directional mic so hopefully the fan noise will not be present in my videos so if you are interested in the sims or gaming in general there will be a link below to my gaming channel it's always there in every description there is always a link to my gaming channel oops I'm going to kill my eyelashes because I feel like I need to. I just kind of pulse it whenever I do my lashes. Like I kind of, I don't just do that. I kind of go like that and I like release the pressure every once in a while. Because I'm scared of chopping my eyelashes off. Okay, I'm going to use the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara. Which after this month I'll probably have to chuck away because it's definitely past its use by date. And it is drying up as well. I keep everything past its use by date, probably. Um, I go off smell and looks. If it doesn't look right or doesn't smell right, I chuck it out. Because the use by dates are usually kind of like a guideline. It depends, honestly. It depends how well you keep your makeup, how long you had it open for, how often you use it, all that kind of stuff. So, yeah. Powders as well. Like, mascaras are probably the first thing to go. Especially because it goes on your eyes, it's like they're the most likely to carry infection, which is why you should throw them out after three months. But it's a powder, like eyeshadow palettes, they, you know, you can use them for years, let's be real. And if anything, I find if anything irritates your skin, 
or your eyes or just doesn't look or smell right and chuck it. I had to chuck away my Naked 2 palette because it started irritating my eyes so I knew it was time for it to go. It was a very sad day but I really want the Naked 3 and I really want the new Naked Cherry and I, I, don't, I don't really want the lipsticks, I'm not bothered about the setting spray but the face palette and the eyeshadow palette I really like the look of Okay, for my lips, I'm just going to go with the NYX Vanilla Sky um, Lip Liner and then the NYX Lip Lingerie in Bedtime Flirt. I found with liquid, uh, I found with liquid, liquid, liquid lipsticks, really, liquid lipsticks, they times the charm. A really thin layer is the best because then it's not going to be too drying. If you keep layering and layering and layering, it's going to get more drying. Um... And I find that they last longer if you put like less on, which doesn't make much sense, but you know. I am going to add a tiny bit of gloss on though, so I'm going to put the um, Avon Mark Plumpet Lip Gloss in Pink Pout. I want to get pretty much every colour they have of these. They have a like, clear one, this pink one, a mauve one, a nude one, and I think a darker brown one. I'm only putting a little bit on. And then just kind of like doing that with the space, if that makes sense. Yeah, I think I'm going to do um, like a My Avon Favourites type video. Because, yeah, I do. Or I am. I don't work for Avon in the sense that I work for Avon. Like, they pay me directly. Um, but I do. I am an Avon representative. But that doesn't make me biased. I, I'll leave my Avon store link in the description if you want to buy anything from Avon and let me get any commission from it because that would be great. Christmas is coming up and I'm broke AF. But um, I genuinely love Avon products. Like I like their lipsticks, their nail varnishes are so good. Um, like yeah, They're probably the longest lasting nail varnishes I've ever used, aside from maybe the Ted Baker nail varnishes from like the Christmas selections um, or the Christmas like gift selection box thingies, I don't know um, yeah, they're really good and their perfumes are amazing and like their deals are really good I'm just, I love Avon, honestly I really do, they're not for old women they're really good, I'm not like a fan of everything like I've tried their foundation, I wasn't a fan. I think I've, I've got an Avon, I'm testing Avon makeup on this channel actually. I'm not gonna lie to you, I didn't like a whole lot of it, but like the eyebrow pencil I really love, their con there's their contour and the highlight palette I really like, and I their eyeshadows are really good, so yeah. Anyway, this isn't an Avon video, so this is the finished look. I'm gonna come in close. I just got. I don't know. Oh, look. This eye looks so good. This one's a bit of a hot mess, but this one looks really good. So, yeah. Let's finish look. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Next video, as you know, well, I mean, the box is still here from last video. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, I'm going to do the rest of the Revolution makeup in the next video. Oh, I have one itchy nose. Oh, oh, I haven't set your face. Use a Kat Von D setting spray, obviously. I'm running out of this, I need a new one. Well not this one specifically, I need a new setting spray. I actually like that one, but I haven't got the money really to buy another one. I really want to get the all nighter one from Urban Decay, I might get a small one see if I like it. But anyway, that is a different video for another time. I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below if you haven't already. And I will see you next time. Bye!